What's going on guys? It's Sensei Adam and today I'm going to be discussing a topic that a lot of people have been asking for in the comments and that is how exactly do you buy gems if you don't live in Canada? So how do you buy them in any other country that isn't Canada? Since Brawl Stars is still just in beta in Canada, you have to be there to buy it. Well, that's not entirely true. So I personally live in the United States and I bought gems with my own card here. Look, we still have so many coin boosters from when I bought it before the update. And I bought them without having to buy a Canadian gift card with my own card. So I'm going to show you that right now. And I'm going to show you two methods of how you can buy gems if you don't live in Canada. And the first method is the preferred method. And the second one is if the first one doesn't work. Because I've seen some people that said it doesn't work. But the second method isn't the best way. And I'm going to tell you why a little bit later. So let's just get started. Alright guys, but before we get started, i just like to share with you guys my band. It's called Eastlake and we have a few open spots. The current requirement to join is 4,000 trophies and we have 7 open spots. We're at 93 right now and currently we're in the top 18. We were 15 but a few people left so we have a few openings. So if you want to join a really active band, we usually have between 15 and 20 people on on peak times which is around night time I think at... 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to join an active band, join Eastlake. All right, but since you have Brawl Stars, right now you're probably in the Canadian iTunes App Store. Like if you go on the App Store, you probably should be on the Canadian one. But what you want to do is switch back to your country. So how you do that is you go on settings and then you go ahead and find iTunes and App Store. And then right here, you want to click on your Apple ID and then click view Apple ID. Now, once you click that, it should prompt you to put your Apple ID's password, but since I already did that, it's probably just going to skip over it. All right, there you go. And now, once you put your password, you should be graded with this screen. And what you want to do is click country or region. And once you do that, you should be going onto this screen, which says change country or region. Click that. And now put your country. Since I'm in the United States, I'm going to click United States. But if you're in like Brazil or the United Kingdom or France, that's what you want to click. So I'm just going to click US and then you get the terms of service. But I don't know who's going to read that. So you can just click agree and agree. Now you're going to be on this screen that either asks for a credit slash debit card, PayPal or none. And what you want to do is just click none and that's it. And now you have to put an address for your country. So you can just put your very own address and that's fine. So I'm just going to put my address over here and then I'm going to be right back. All right, guys. But once you have your address put down, you should just be able to click next. And don't worry, this isn't my actual address. I just found this one online. But now you just click next and wait for it to load and you should be good. Now I just put a, a US address and so I put done and now I go back. And now I just go back over to the app and now you're going to see that it changed my thing. Now instead of being $13.99 for gems, it's $9.99. So it's now US currency instead of Canadian dollars. So now the next step, just go back to exactly where you were. So on the iTunes and the app store and you click the exact same thing. You go on your Apple ID and now since you're on the same screen, you're just going to go one above the country or region and put a payment information and then over here you can just use any can any credit card or debit card or PayPal so you can just put your credit card right here put any number like your actual credit card put the expiration date and the date of expiration and then put your confirmation code but you have to put your real address here just put your random address for your credit card company to confirm, you actually have to put your real address on the billing address. So you just do that now and click done. And once you do, it should confirm. Of course, I didn't put a real credit card here. But once you click done, you should have your credit card on file. And now you just go back to Brawl Stars and you should just be able to tap on any offer and you should get this pop up and click purchase. And once you do, it will ask you for your password and you click done. And then you're able to buy the gems and that's the first method now this is just an extension of the first method if you aren't able to access a credit card well you could just go down 
to the app store right here or actually go to your local grocery store buy an itunes gift card like from the us or wh wherever you live so if you live in like the uk you buy a uk itunes gift card go down here and then put redeem like you go on the app store and put redeem and then you're going to be greeted with a password icon and i'm just going to put here really quick all right so once you put your password for your id you should be greeted with the screen right here so if you bought a gift card from the store you can just enter your code manually here and you should be done and that's the first method all right but just a word of warning if you do switch back to the us app store once brawl stars has an update you will have to switch back to the canadian app store in order to get it the update for brawl stars so to do that it's very simple you just go back to country slash region and then you just change country region find canada all right you agree to the terms of service and then you do the same exact thing but you might be wondering how do you put the billing address for canadian a canadian place so what I usually do when I go here, because they actually do check to see if it's a real address, what you do is you just go on Internet Explorer and you can go on Google. And then I just put houses in Toronto. And then you can go on Zillow. So where's Zillow? Oh, this, this site works fine. So any site that has houses. No, I don't want them to use my location. Pick any house. And right there, you have the address for a house. So you can just put this exact house right here. And then you can just go ahead and put the address of the house right here. So one Valha La In Road. And I'm not going to bore with you. You can just put like the rest of the address here, put done and click next. And then you should be able to be back in the Canadian App Store. All right. So let's just go over the second method really quick. And this involves buying a Canadian iTunes gift card. And I'm just showing you this method because I've seen a lot of people that said like for some reason their credit card didn't work or their purchase was invalid whenever they try to switch their country. So I'm just going to show you this method. And it involves buying a Canadian iTunes gift card. So what you want to do is open up Safari and then type mitunes.tv. So mitunes.tv and type enter. And once you do that, you should be able to enter a site here where you can buy iTunes gift cards. And then here, you're going to select the Canadian iTunes codes. And then you're going to be greedy with a lot of options that you can pick. So you can pick between 10, 15, 25, 50, or $100. Or you can pick 2 times 25 or 4 times 25. But let's say I want to buy the $25 gift card. Well, currently they're out of stock, but usually they're in stock. So here you're going to see the price, but in US dollar or whatever country you're in right now. So it costs $26 to buy a $25 Canadian gift card. But that's why I said it's, it, you get less value from buy it from here. So because if I go over to Google and type Canadian to USD. And then let's say I convert 26, the $26 that it costs. Wait, actually, wait, I'm typing it wrong. If I type $25 in Canadian gift cards, like you're going to be buying a $25 gift card. That's actually only worth 20 US dollars. So if you go back, you're actually paying $26 for $20 worth of Canadian gift cards. So you're paying a little bit more to get those gift cards. So that's why I recommend you guys trying the first method. And if it doesn't work, trying this one out. But if you go up the ladder, like if you go pay $50, well, they're out of stock now, but you pay a little bit less in fees to buy those gift cards. So if you want to buy like $100, I recommend buying that instead of $25, then buying a $25 later, just buy it all in bulk so it costs less. And once you have that done, you should have enough balance in order to go here and buy those gems. So let's see, if you buy a $25 gift card, you have enough to buy, not enough to buy the bucket of gems, but you can just split over on the lower amount. Or you can just buy some of the special offers. Those give you more in value anyway. So that's what I recommend. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this finally answers the question of how you can buy gems in Brawl Stars in any country. It's pretty simple. 
and I hope you can finally get those max characters with those gems. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.